Good morning. Uh, we are trying to figure out life. Uh, we're currently kicked out of our home because they are redoing the floors and a bathroom and stuff. Um, so we're kind of floating around the city and Ellis also has a soccer game today. So we have all this soccer stuff with us. I'm also coaching today. So I have the stuff I need for coaching. We are just a mess, but we're a great mess. Winnie's hair is out of sorts. Um, I need to do your hair, but we had to, I had therapy this morning. So after, right after therapy, the floor guy came and I had to, we had to get out. So, um, they don't make us leave, but you just don't want to be there when they're doing all of that. Um, so, and they love dogs. So they're really nice to the dogs. Um, and now we're going to go kill some time in Target. Maybe get a coffee. Maybe just walk around. Um, and then maybe we'll get some like lunch-ish or something. And then go to the game. I just don't know what to do to kill time on a random Saturday. So let's go see. So us being locked out of our home has turned into Target, Ross, and now maybe someplace to get a quick bite and then change. Ellis has to change into his soccer stuff. I have to change. This is so weird. I miss my house, um, but we we do what we gotta do. And I'm can't get in my car. Why can't we open the door? Oh, there we go. You gotta unlock it. Coaching shocker does come with a lot of benefits. One, you get a whistle. So now I can say, we're going to lunch. Brush your teeth. 10 push-ups. I wanna do 10 push-ups. Dad's a coach. We're gonna go get lunch. We are trapped. We don't know where to go. We're gonna have to change in Del Taco, Ellis and I. Put on our, I gotta put on my coaching t-shirt. You gotta put on your uniform. We're gonna get lunch first, then we'll come out, then we'll go to the restroom and then change. Change, so let's go eat some lunch. So we were at um, Target and we saw two people that um, watch us on YouTube. Um, and they both stopped us and they said, Kyle, you look familiar. Um, and then I had a nice conversation with both of them and they were super sweet and nice. So that was cute. So if you're watching, thanks for saying hi. And you guys were both really kind, sweet people. So thank you for saying hi. What does this say? Okay, now we're at the soccer field for Ellis' soccer game. You ready? Yeah. Is it hot? Kinda. But not that bad. If it's hot, then I found the pie over ice. Oh, you found some ice cubes. Um, we're early, we're the first ones here. Um, so the team should start showing up. I don't know what field we're on, but I'm excited. We're gonna do great. Just gonna run around and have a good time. Okay. Um, I didn't show any of the game because uh, I was coaching. I thought I was going to get a cute shot of them playing. I have some photos. Maybe I'll put those in. But um, what a fun game. Um, our team is so stinking cute. We have a lot of different personalities. Um, 
and I feel so attached to this team already. Um, there's 11 uh, boys out there, and um, they are just just learning so quickly. Some of them, it was like their first game ever. Some of them, it was, they've barely been doing it, and they just, they did so well, and they were communicating, and they were responsive to coaching, and when I had to, when I had to sit some of them out for rotations, they would do it no problem. I'm so proud of them. Um, I'm so proud of Ellis. He did an amazing job. He's becoming more and more confident on the field than he ever has. I'm so proud of him, and I had a lot of help out there, parents and family, and my family went to the game, and it was a very good day. I just dropped off the kids now. I'm going to go hang out with um, a buddy, and um, I kind of have to kill another two hours because they're still finishing up the floor and stuff in my house, and I can't go home till about 5. And then I'm supposed to hang out with my friend at about 7-ish. So kind of just killing time, out shopping, thinking out loud. Um, but it's been a good day. I'm exhausted, man. Um, I'm tired. Um, but I'm excited to see a friend tonight and hang out and not stress. So that'll be fun. And um, I'm assuming the kids are probably going to spend the night at Auntie's. Which is kind of nice. And then maybe I'll go to church in the morning solo. Um, that might be nice too. Just a little relaxing, just me time. And then go pick up the kids. We'll see. But it's been a good day overall. It's been a fun day overall. Love Saturdays. Um, and saw my mom today. She said she was going to take the kids in a couple weeks. That'll be nice uh, for her to have some time with them. But I'm going to go kill some time. And, um, yeah, see you on the flip side. <gasps> well, that was riveting, riveting, people. I bought a universal remote from my fan, my ceiling fan in my living room because Huckle chewed um, the ceiling fan remote, so I can't. And then <clears throat> I didn't just buy one. No, no, no. I bought two because Huckle chewed the one for the outside fan in the backyard. <laughs> so I bought two of those uh, at Home Depot. What a fun, fun day. I feel like every dad has to go to Home Depot when he has a moment to himself. I was secretly hoping they'd have Halloween decorations and they don't. <laughs> okay. So uh, I got another half an hour to kill and then go home. Um, this is the kind of stuff I talk about. I try to explain it. Um, sitting here bored waiting to go home and so I was like okay I'll just scroll through some of my old videos and it just makes me cry um, and that's grief you feel so good you have a good day you and the minute you're alone and you look through a couple videos you're crushed um, it's just such a roller coaster man um, It's uh, scary to imagine <clears throat> the farther you get away from someone physically, nine months, one year, year and a half, three years, I'm afraid that her memory is going to fade. I've never been afraid of that till right this second. It just scares me because life goes on. Kids grow up and I keep going and doing what I'm supposed to do in life. And um, it's just kind of terrifying me a little bit right now. Uh, a little overwhelming to think that every day uh, we go farther away from her. Uh, and I don't want to. And I know that you have to, um, oh, it just came out of nowhere. I'm literally sitting in the parking lot and it just came out of nowhere. Ah, uh. 
I think the distractions in life keep you away from the pain sometimes. And then when you sit and you're alone for 10 minutes, the pain finds a way to come in. Man. It's hard to imagine how badly you can miss somebody until you literally can't have them anymore. You can't, you get no option. You get no choice. You can't go back. You can't go visit that person. You just don't get them anymore. It's just not fair. I'm just gonna say, and it's not for everybody, but it's for me, doing life alone sucks. And I know some people don't have a choice, and I know some people choose it, and I know people have lost someone like I have, or whatever the case is, but doing life alone sucks. You don't like it. I don't know. I need a shave. I always notice it in this phone video because it's so much clearer and I just see all the hairs on my face. It has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Uh, maybe I had therapy this morning too and we opened up about a lot of things and a lot of pent up anger and feelings that I have towards cancer and towards particular things in my life and it doesn't do you any good to hang on to that anger. You gotta let it out in a healthy way. Um, and I haven't been making the best choices physically. That usually doesn't make me feel the best mentally. Um, the body correlates, you know, when you're doing better physically, you do better mentally. When you're doing better mentally, you do better physically. Um, so I need to get back on my train of being physically better, but um, I realize if you go coach a soccer game, you get burned. I need to start wearing sunscreen consistently. I'm really bad at that, but um, man, I'm just not learning my lesson. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go out to dinner with a friend and I'm gonna go put our name in because it's probably packed. Um, I feel good, got ready. The floors are almost done in my house to where my anxiety kind of floated away from my body. Um, I feel pretty good. Kids are happy, they just ate dinner. Auntie sent me a picture, so they're doing well. Um, so I feel better than I did two hours ago. Uh, took a shower, relaxed for a little second, and then got ready and left. So I feel pretty good. Um, just grief is an animal, and it just never takes the same face. You're always learning, so I'm always learning. But I'm going to go put my name in. Bye, guys. <laughs> Last night was fun, and then I never uh, updated you guys. So, hung out last night with a friend. It was really fun. Um, yeah, it was great. And then uh, the kids spent the night at Auntie's. So, I woke up, and I had intentions of going to church, and then I overslept. So, then I just went out to breakfast alone, um, which is always, a th you know, it's fine. Um, but it always makes you think when you're alone. Um but sometimes it's okay to be in quiet and in peace and, um, but you miss, you know, having that person with you to talk to and whatever, but, um, went to peaceful breakfast. Uh, I'm going to go pick up the kids now and we don't have too much on our list today. Um, so I don't know what we're going to do. Um, we do need to do a grocery trip. Um, but besides that, I think we're pretty good. The house is in shambles because of the floor. But because of that, we're kind of excused from doing any chores, which is nice. <laughs> the living room and dining room are perfectly clean because they're empty uh, with just the new floor. So I don't know. We'll see what we're going to do. But just had breakfast. It was yummy. And now I'm going to go get the kids. 
All right, just picked up the kids, and now we're back home, and um, who knows what's in store for this lazy Sunday. Um, but I don't even know if I filmed anything of significance yesterday. I was just filming to film um, because ideas were popping in my head, and here we are one day later. But we can take from it that we had a good weekend, the kids got to see their auntie and cousins and spend the night. I had some me time and just used it to relax, sleep, um, get some food solo. And here we are. Got to get ready for the week. Um, got to get back in the swing of things. We got a pretty good rhythm down. We just got to keep it going. Um, but yeah, some days, some Sundays, you just don't want to do anything. And I'm kind of having that vibe today. I don't want to clean. I don't want to. I don't want to shop. I don't want to make food. I don't want to do anything. But I know you have to. Um, but all right, that's it. I'm gonna edit this and put this up. Look at that. <whistles> I'm gonna edit this and put this up. So thanks for watching my random thoughts in the car. Is what yesterday turned out to be and coming along with me solo because I was solo most of yesterday and this morning and I do realize that I need some me time it's important for anybody and it helps me feel a little refreshed every time I get that so love you guys thanks for watching see you next time bye